Yo, what up YouTube? What up, what up, what up? Right? <laughs> that intro, man, it's just natural for me. I just, I think it's kind of interesting because you see little spiritual hallmarks, man, of things from our past. If you remember Martin, what up, what up, what up? I can't even fr freaking get my voice that high. Remember you say that? What up, what up, what up? Remember you say that shit? Right? <laughs> covering not every mason is bad he was targeted also i can't say what his choices have been since then but i'm just saying christ has already paved the way consciousness is a thing the holy spirit can speak wherever he chooses so i wanted to Take it back, man, like, to see if y'all can connect with the vision I have, visions of how we got here. All right? Now, in the beginning of the video game, it's a black screen. You were in it like a, like the Matrix, only it was, it was, it was black. It wasn't all white, right? And uh, we can see each other very clearly, just like on a, like a Pac-Man or a Mario video game. You know, it was it was 8-bit. You know, like the old school Nintendos and things like that. And uh, quite frankly, we look like uh, we look like Simpson characters, no question. Right? These tiny people, like lemmings, almost, and. We had different abilities. We were, we were actually quite, you know, we were really strong. Okay. That's why it's so difficult to achieve any type of abilities here because, well, in essence, it generally isn't supposed to happen, but it's not illegal. So I'm just trying to see if, all right. So anyways, in the beginning of this game, all right, we were like Simpson characters, and we all had like these green, like uh, onesies, man. It was like some type of military or army outfits on, and we had parachute backpacks, right? For any of y'all that I set up a uh, Patreon back in the day, because I have a lot of stuff that I just cannot post on YouTube because YouTube will start tripping. But, uh, yeah, I forgot where I was going with that. My bad. Anyways, we had these green backpack on, green backpacks on, right? And we were walking on like this line, okay? It was like a, yeah, it was just like a line, a ledge of some sort. And, <laughs> dude, we were kind of goofy, man. We were like, you know what? We looked like those characters off of Despicable Me. Those, those little characters, those little yellow dudes, the minions, we look like that, right? <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> Real talk. El <laughs> Elder was there, man. Christ was there. Very loud, very strong, <laughs> right? Like, down here we call him Elder, but like up there it was a common joke. We called him Warden, you know? Because <laughs> he's like, I guess he's like me, you guys, when I... Uh, start speaking in the spirit to y'all and I sound like a drill sergeant. That's the Holy Spirit. That's, <laughs> that's elder. I can't tell when I'm talking or he's talking like that's the warden. <laughs> that's our leader. I'm not saying that I'm Christ, you guys. We obviously, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> now Christ, let me tell you something about this <laughs> dude is strong as shit, <laughs> right? <laughs> like coming down here, like for him, that when we came here, we wanted to challenge ourselves. That was the thing, right? <laughs> and as you know, <laughs> as you know, Elder, like, he doesn't break for anyone. Like, <laughs> he can love you, but you know, we all know he says no a lot. That's why we call him Warden, right? <laughs> That's the truth. Think. 
ask the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? When, you, when somebody's telling you something important like this, ask the Holy Spirit, pray up to God and ask him to discern whether or not I'm a lie or if that's real. Right? So we were on this line, man. And uh, we're all huddled. We were excited as fuck, man. We were about to fucking jump, right? We had to jump off this fucking ledge. And the other side, you guys, the other side on the other side of us, it was like a UFO with rainbow flashing lights, like different colors. Not like rainbow lights, but like a blue light, a green light, a red light. That was going on inside of the windows, right? <laughs> and the little aliens, they were like, uh, <laughs> they were like that little character off The Simpson that had like three eyes. Someone had two eyes and stuff, and they're walking on a ledge, right? They're boarding onto a ship. They're going to a different place. Now for us, there was, uh, we had a land on Earth, right? And there was this tiny square far down off in the distance to the right-hand side, right? Uh, the square was a gradient from pink to blue. That's our binary system, okay? And, uh, <laughs> you know, before we jumped, I was... I was fucking ant, dude. I was ant, man. Like, I, me and Elder, man, the vision, like, we were pretty close, man. I was, I was always wild, man. I was kind of out there, right? I was pretty strong, but like, let me tell you something, man. Like, Elder, we all knew before we went, <laughs> right? And I was screaming, hey, you might remember this. Hey, I was screaming out all, over, over, over y'all, and I was saying, I want all this, I want all the smoke and things like this. I was this nerdy dude. I had glasses, man. They were like round glasses. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was smart and crazy. That was, that was the two things I was, right? <laughs> and, <laughs> and Elder was like, all right, all right, all right. Bring it in, bring it in. You know what I'm saying? And one other dude said something. I don't remember what he said, right? But then he just starts pushing people off this ledge towards the square, like, go, 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 right? He's pushing us off, right? And <laughs> we uh, we float down, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're parachute down to like these, this square and people going through the square and that's how you ended up in the womb in this world, okay? If you landed on the pink side of the, of, of the square, you were a girl. If you landed on the blue side, you are a boy, okay? That's how it worked. I landed my crazy ass on the bottom right hand corner and I almost missed the square. I had to crawl into the field. My mother had a difficult birth. She had to get a C-section. -se you know what I mean? Probably, yeah, I mean, hey man, don't frown on me. I had glasses, all right? So <laughs> I got in there, right? <laughs> And that's what I remember, right? The more I started to remember that space kataz moment, you know, I started connecting and, and pushing my consciousness further to the guy outside the video game. And this video game system, you guys, it's like one of those old school ones from the 80s with the sides, with the, with the, with the decoration on it, right? The graphic design. Yeah, that's what we're inside of, right? Where, that's where they get the concepts for like the matrix and things like that. The reason why we're not savvy to this is because that's where, I don't know, all you guys that came from like the Eastern mysticism religions and what have you, that's what they mean when they talk about the Akashic records. But see how I'm like way before that, you see how the things I'm talking about, that's the Holy Spirit. None of them talk about that. None, <laughs> none of those other religions know what that means, right? So that's what, that, that's what kind of happens, you know, generally when people deal with a contract, they are taken to the fourth dimension world, which means they have to get abducted basically, right? Because the aliens, they were on the other side. Now, <laughs> quite frankly, I don't really know <laughs> if we got along b before that. I don't. I don't really know. What I do know is that not all the aliens were evil. Like we actually, there were some aliens. There was uh, one alien. I think I gave a hug before he went over, or maybe it was a girl, or he or she went to the other side of the stage, right? 
Like, peace out. You know what I'm saying? Go see you on the other side. Right? Some of them, they were over there kicking it with us. We had homies and shit. Right? But everybody forgot that when it came down to the system because that is the game. Right? Just like the rapper, that's the game. Right? See how it's paved? See how those things are there? Right? So, <clears throat> the ones who become Masons, they, a lot of them start, you know, they probably have some type of historical knowledge, but not all of them know the game. Probably, mostly all of them don't. But some of them, I'm pretty sure, does. Right? But the thing is, it's like when you deal with Masons, if it is a good Mason, you're playing Pictionary, okay? They don't even tell each other what they know in their little meetings. You have to figure it out. Are you either gonna figure out uh, the result of a matter, of a display, a play, or something like that, in one way or the other, and that navigates your path in the game. From there, that is the core and the mixture of the world religions that is coming together for the new religion where we get all these Eastern mysticisms and what have you. The Akashic records, the whole nine, right? So that's, <laughs> listen, man. <laughs> Holy Spirit got me so cold, man. Athe atheists don't even wanna play with it, man. Because I'm like, Please tell me what you don't believe in and make that be your belief, right? Your belief is based on not believing in something. That's pretty redundant, right? So in that way, the Bible is written in James, be ye not double-minded, right? What happens is, if you understand that splinter, you see all the other ones eventually because there's always going to be cognitive dissonance in their mind. Not one person can serve two masters. You cannot sign on and deal with that and deal with scripture. It's gonna cause you to have more cognitive dissonance. That is the mind control that the devil plays off of. All right. Very old, very ancient. Right. I'm not supposed to remember this. So that's why I said I move like a splinter cell because I can see his splinters also. Right. I can put some quarters in that motherfucker's brain. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's been done. OK. The Holy Spirit is a thing. All right. So. Basically, what I'm telling you is that's how we got here. You know, all right, peep game. Some people say the earth is round. Other people say the earth is flat, right? Can two people be right at the same time? Remember I told you that? Well, the globe or the earth is built on a spline, a plane, it's like a grid-like plane. You can find this plane at any um, 3D program that they built these 3D video games and stuff with when they designed the characters. You can look it up online. It's just a gray plane. So this is what the Lord means when he says the foundations of the earth. And that is how the spiritual magic works with the fucking Masonic checkerboard. <laughs> the two pillars represents the two different sides but the two pillars that he uses pertaining to the world pertains to the dynamics of the mind. That's where you get blue for Democrat, red for Republican, red for bloods, blue for Crips. It goes all the way down from the top of the inter, inter, uh, infrastructure down to the bottom. Now, what does that create? Polarity, right? Not only within the mind, but within the entire foundation or the platform, right? This is spiritual interface stuff, one-on-one. -on -one right not supposed to know this right everybody took a gamble before we took that jump and <laughs> you guys everybody was saying because i was talking a lot i talk a lot of shit back in the you know on the other side man you know i didn't know on that side i guess i was wild man i guess i was like kind of a cocky guy 
I'm not here on earth. <laughs> not at all, man. Like, I don't give a fuck. But, like, they're, like, yeah, man. I was, <laughs> I was a hothead. I was cocky. I was nerdy as shit. <laughs> and I was crazy, right? <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> basically, <clears throat> I found a way to connect in an extra dimension that goes beyond the fourth dimension, okay? To the real me outside of the game. And there was a wager that this couldn't be done. Especially with Red. You know, I call him the devil and shit, or the devil I call Red. He was like, most definitely not. That's, that's absolutely insane. Right? They was capping. But, you know what? With faith, with faith in God, I did, right? That's why we're having this conversation. That's why I said I can't post everything online, man. Sometimes I have to come across you guys. A lot of people scared to give out their numbers. Dude, I will listen to you. You can talk, right? You can email me your phone number if you want, or you can not email me your phone number if you don't want. I don't care. I'm just, you know, I'm here to help if you have any problems or certain things you want to bounce off of me I'll listen and I'll give you what I think about it right but the, you know what I'm saying that's what I am that's what I am telling you I can't post everything this shit like this hey man this is above top secret shit I'm dropping here right I might not even be able to keep this shit online right and not that I care about likes or anything like that but it lets me know that at least somebody heard something and I hope I hope the same way I hope to contact y'all when I spiritually speak that it's getting out of there and it's getting into people's minds whether they understand it or not because in truth I'm not speaking to you I'm speaking to your spirit okay so going back remember the earth is fat is flat because it's on a plane okay they put it on a sphere, okay? And the earth, the texture that we walk on or whatever, it's just a, it's, it's like a bump map, okay? You ever go up in a plane and the trees look like broccoli? Yeah, that's what it looks like, okay? It's a bump map. We live on top of this thing, right? So <laughs> the thing is, man, we have red and blue, and it goes from politicians down to the to the to the gangsters and thugs. This is what you call a structure, right? It's a structure of the matrix. How does the drugs get to the inner city? Well, you know the inner city don't have money to buy large amounts of drugs like that. It comes from the top. That's the secret in the society. The secret, the shit that they're worried about is fucking money laundering. That's all they fucking care about, and they all do it just none of them want to get busted and sometimes they rat on one another and shit right then they have to have blood sacrifices those blood sacrifices are for insurance money to make up for lost damages that's how it goes people just don't ascend and become famous and rise into fame Th that money comes from somewhere then they clone the living shit out of them like you know what I'm saying by the hundreds and then they have them working like a dog in like a Walmart or something like that, right? And these people have no ether core, no connection to themselves whatsoever, right? And they're working like a dog and a portion of their wages goes to the celebrity and their energy is distributed between the main celebrity and their clones. Think about it, how do they have that many followers, right? If I'm gonna advertise to a market, I'm gonna advertise to a market that's like me. As you can see, when you're real, right? That's not a very large market. So they have to sell their soul, you understand? So they could think the same way. Spiritual interfaces, right? These are the quadrants of the actual system and the computer and the platform, right? MS, DOS, Linux, the whole nine. Now, I'm not great at hacking, right? 
Matter of fact, it would crack you guys up because I'm like a caveman. I do not, I, I like the microwave and shit, right? But it, I mean, shit, you know what I'm saying? That's all, I mean, shit. How much you need, right? So, <clears throat> but this thing here, I don't have to because the Holy Spirit is a thing. The Holy Spirit knows. What they seek to learn in secret societies, the Holy Spirit already knows. What they know is will be of no consequence to you because you'll be thinking on a higher level. The information will already be there. There are no secrets from light. That's what it meant in the Bible where everything done in the dark will be revealed in the light. So if you guys are out there and you're doing anything that's not good, right? You want to you want to you want to cut it out. You know what I'm saying? Right? You want to you you want to cut it out. Doesn't mean that everything will be revealed. That's what that's what people think. The things that are pertinent, if it connects to some type of pertinency, it will be revealed. All right. Holy Spirit does not gossip. That's something you should pay attention to. Now, we know nobody was perfect except for Elder because, well, you know, he's kind of a hard ass, right? He he, he would not. <laughs> he did his whole fast, man. And the devil was like, hey, man, if you're really who you say you are, right? Because we're in the system now. He don't know for sure. If you're really who you say you are, turn these stones into bread. Christ was already done with his fast. He could have turned those into bread and was like, well, I'm actually done. And he was starving. <laughs> he was like, fuck that, I'm not hungry. Right? Read your Bible. I mean, I'm paraphrasing. It doesn't say that in the Bible, but you guys, people make so much stuff over foul mouth, this, that, and a word is a word. And pay attention to the scripture. The Holy Spirit speaketh expressively. Right? Ain't nothing like some cuss words. Right? He's a warden. He's got to deal with demons. He's king of all kings, even those in darkness. What do you think? He goes down there and says to them, Hey, you guys, you want some biscuits and tea? That's not what the fuck he says. <laughs> right? That's not what he says, man. Right? But when you talk about cursing, right? Because the words we have today for so-called curse words are not curse words jesus deals with real thing curse words it's like when you curse somebody not when you call them a name none of that corny play school childish shit remember christ said that when he became a man you put the childish things away right right so He's conveying a message, but there's structure there. He tells you, hey man, like have respect, be decent, right? But not all messages are gonna say, some messages are urgent. Now there was no exclamation point at the end of me saying urgent, but at the same time, you felt it was different, right? So this is what I'm talking about, you guys. We gotta, <laughs> we have to be quickened by the Holy Spirit. What does that mean? Processing time and speed. Now I know Bahamut also caught, uh, also caught this because he spoke about it once, but like just the simple way that people casually move, sometimes it's almost like there's glitches in the matrix. You know what I'm saying? You ever been parked at a fucking stoplight? Forgive me, I'm, I'm not trying to cuss too much, right? But you ever been parked at a stoplight? and the stoplight turns green. And dude, like you're halfway down the next road, like you didn't try to speed or anything like that, and everybody is just coming across the line. Right, that's a glitch. You got quick in there, right? That was a jump in time. That's processing speed. The seconds it took, the, the microseconds it took for that light to turn green, it's like you, <laughs> It's like you jumped in time, right? By the time their foot made contact with the pedal that it was on to add pressure, by the time 
the synapses in their brain sent that electrical charge down to their foot, you're already halfway down the street. And you're looking back and you're like, dude, what happened, right? You're gonna start experiencing that, so I tell you now, it's gonna quicken you, that's processing time. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> your adversaries, you guys, I wanna break this down to you. There are serpents, there are greys, and there are demons. Now, let me be very clear. The demons are not serpents. There's no part of a serpent, all right, that is a demon. Do your history, go back to Genesis 6, 3, all right? When the angels came down and mated with humans, allegedly, then we talked about a different type of progeny, right? These were called mighty men of renown. Why? Because they had ancient knowledge, right? But I, 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 want, I want to be very clear about this. So, listen, I know what you guys think. You think archons, angels and shit, you think they're like fucking some type of Abercrombie feathered boy with a shirt off? <laughs> no, that's what, <laughs> that's what red sells to people. And people become a fan of angels all this cutesy stuff. Let me tell you something about angels, man. That nigga Red, he's actually an African millipede. Yeah, he's really big, he's huge as fuck. Right? In his chair form, he's eight feet tall. He says that on the Mamma Mia song, right? By Lil Wayne. He often possesses Lil Wayne, right? Look at Lil Wayne now, right? Look like somebody drove him rough, right? I'm not saying that to cat, man. I'm just saying spirits are a thing. They're just like, it was the drugs. Nah, man. Drugs, it wasn't the drugs. But... Drugs put him on a high that aligned him with a certain frequency where damages were done. So, that's the thing, man, like, There's many topics that I would wish to cover, but I mean, you know, just the same way that we talk about a charge or electricity from the tablets of Thoth, that's where that comes from when I hear people. And yo, I, I read a few chapters of that book and I was like, yo, listen, that book is dark as fuck, man. It will destroy your mind. I would suggest you don't really fuck with it. The knowledge in there is not worth it because it will destroy your mind, right? So. <laughs> you you guys it's fucked up don't don't really deal with that but let's say you commit a crime right let's say you commit a crime who picks you up right the boys in blue right they hold the policies right that are endeared to the state right it gets masonic very quick all right so not only do you have to understand your system, you have to be quick enough to quickly understand their system, right? Your words are your best friend, more so than your hands, all right? You don't wanna to get to your hands. You can, sometimes that, that might happen, but I'm just telling you, for the most part, that's not what you wanna do. Right? We're talking about the game here. It's a game that you want to win. In order to do that, you gotta have Christ for one. It's gonna quicken you with the Holy Spirit. You guys would you guys would blow your mind at the quickening uh, uh, that the Holy Spirit will give you. It will be frustrating because it will seem like people are just moving like molasses. It'll drive you crazy. They don't know where they're going. Their head is all clouded, right? They get in your way, just kind of like a gnat, right? Well, <laughs> and one thing we call something a hive, right? The hive mind and everything like that. But also, if you listen to a swarm of bees, they also sound like a swarm of flies, right? Now meditate, the spiritually dead, right? 
the spiritually dead are going to be in the hive because they're going to attract flies. And one of the chief demons is named Bezelbub. That's where you get Lord of the Flies. So that would make Bezelbub a stronghold. That's what you do. You fuck up the stronghold. That's what you pray about. <laughs> and then you deal with multiples of people and the structure of this interface entirely by addressing one situation. That's the power of prayer, but it's not going to come down in your etheric cord unless you say it, you hold that belief and that resonance and you freaking mean it. And when you say it and you mean it, God is always sovereign. It don't matter if the Antichrist raises up today, right? If I say jump off a bridge and I fucking mean it and my words are there, that's what Elder was saying. Even these things you can do. If Elder tells somebody to do something, they're going to go do it. What do they call these words that Elder have? Commands. What happens when you hack something? CMD, semicolon, backslash, and that arrow parentheses thing. Right? A command line. You enter in the command, and then the command happens. Right? There's no questions. There's no, wait, what, what was that? You're going to do it. Why? Because he means that shit. Right? These are astral or spiritual powers, okay? They're stronger, right? You can lift weights. I love to do it. I do it for fun because I have a lot of stress. And at the gym, how I lift like a damn ape, they, they're like, they probably like, yo, what's going on with that guy? I've heard one guy say, explain that to me. See, that's what he says to the other guy when <laughs> he points at me. You guys, that's like breaking the matrix. Just like Neo, how he was able to do different things, right? You would not imagine the processing time that it takes, like, just in someone, just in someone blinking, there is so much distance of time in between there if you're quicken, because you're gonna jump out of the time gap. The fourth dimension is time. That's what you're subjected to, chronos. Right? The timer on the game. Right? You're gonna jump that shit and you're gonna have an ample amount. It'll be a space of timeless time in between there. That's like a pocket or a portal. Right? When the Holy Spirit is in me, a lot of times my energy is high and I'm at the gym, I have enough time to eat lunch and snatch the fly off of somebody's throat before they fully open their eyes. That's what it feels like, right? And I just, I, I look antsy to them. I look cracked out to them because I, I got a lot of energy, man. But really to me, I'm moving normal, but to them, their processing is so slow. They're like, they're glitching out, right? So I can't really, I can't really deal with them too much in that in, in that state, you know, because it will cause them to feel uncomfortable or get antsy, and that makes me uncomfortable because I just move quick now. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you guys, I make like this herbal tea that I drink, and uh, you know, when I take CBD, which I don't have access to, that's what. Yo, my mind really takes off then. But, like, when I do have, like, bread to get, like, CBD or whatever, man, and I drink that tea, you guys, I get an effect where time literally slows down. I mean, I'll literally listen to a five-minute song in two minutes. It's like freak accident stuff that happens. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? How do I understand? I can't, man. It's spiritual. All right? It's spiritual. When my energy's high and I'm waiting at a, at, 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 a, at a stoplight, you guys, it feels like I'm there for eternity. Right? That's why I said getting abilities is more frustrating than you actually think. 
Elder had a lot of patience. Let me tell you. That's what he means. Your processing is slow. Your vision will get better. You'll. I can hear the stream. You know what I'm saying? Probably. I don't know, three or four football fields away from my house. It's a little creek. I can hear the crickets by it. You know what I'm saying? When I focus my mind, right? Because you don't want to listen with your ear. All right, that's what people do. You listen with your ear. You don't want to, you listen with your mind. You use all your senses have to pass through your mind. But if your mind is focused on a particular sense, then it misses all the other ones. That's what meditating is. You have to practice sensing and experiencing multiple senses at the same time. And just try it. Try to understand what you're smelling and everything that you're hearing at the same time. Even like most particularly, you wanna practice when it's quiet. The little clicks and tings in your house, the faucet running, that's what you wanna do, right? It's going to expand your mind. It's going to make your mind stronger, okay? That's what you gotta do. So, the thing is, you guys, I got off topic and I'm really sorry. Going back, this was a long, long time ago, you guys. <laughs> sorry about this. Okay, so you, 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 you go to school, right? For your, for your mind control programming, right? that you have to go and you have to have the right answers that they tell you, right? Input, output, right? And my homie welcome to Wednesday, he says, it's not mind control. No, man, you're late. That's exactly what Christ was talking about. He was saying, I got to deliver you out, right? I got to deliver you out of what you don't know. Like take for instance, he would say, he that have an ear, let him hear. He wasn't talking to people who didn't have ears on their head. But how do you tell someone who can hear that they're deaf? How do you tell someone who can see that they're blind? <laughs> yeah, that was his job, right? <laughs> then you got knuckleheads, just wanna carry a boom box. And even now in 2022, where, you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen, man, a lot of niggas still got that hood mentality, man. Let me tell you something. You had to learn that. The reason why I sound white is because I am standard. I sound normal. No, I sound black. White people sound like me. I was first. Something wrong with your mind. That's mind control. That's psychology, right? Uncle Tom. A lot of black people say, oh, that's an Uncle Tom, right? <laughs> well, my name is Tom. This is pretty annoying because I can't even correct them in front of other people because it's like, Dude, if I correct you, we're both gonna look stupid. So, yeah, I guess that's what I am, Uncle Tom. Although, I'm not worth his salt. Uncle Tom was a story about a slave who wouldn't rat the other slaves who escaped out. And he was a martyr for that. In other words, he never snitched. So if you're on the street and you're Christian, listen, man, ain't no snitching. God don't like snitches. Nobody likes snitches, man. Not the devil, not God. Now the boys in blue, they'll have you very convinced. Convinced. If you get into that interrogation room with uh, Agent Smith, which Smith is a Canaanite name, if you didn't know that. That's a little background ancestry. Right? But Agent Smith, you know what I'm saying? That's what those interrogation rooms are for. Right? Certain things we don't like. Black people don't like hospitals. There's a good reason why. You know? How did they learn how to come up with all that medicine? Who did they test it on if we used to be three fourths a person, right? Or considered to be less than animals? Right? That's something to think about. All right? I just, I wanna put that out there. So you go back to your mind, mind control program. You go to kindergarten, right? You, you, they got grades one through 12, right? You have to go. 
If you don't go, the boys in blue, if they catch you, they'll pick you up. <laughs> Tell me that's not mind control and that's just psychology. Remember when they took Morpheus and they were trying to get the codes to Zion? That's your education system. <laughs> they take your creativity and steal it and sell it back to you. And you buy it because you don't know yourself. Isn't that sad? <laughs> so who are the lost sheep? <laughs> the ones that don't know any better. This is a job about education. That's what this responsibility is for. All right? That's the responsibility. You go to this K through 12 thing, and let's say through the first seven years of school, you meet these girls, and then you got worldly stuff going on, music being released, and then all their favorite childhood stars like Hannah Montana and all of that, you know what I'm saying? It happened to our generation as well. You know, all these Disney kids that grew up watching as kids, they're growing up too. But then it's like a good girl gone bad. That's what they do, the same way they did hip hop. When the 90s hit, it became gangster rap to degradate the minds of the people. <laughs> Real talk. So that girl is still listening to that music and she doesn't have the firewall of the Holy Spirit. Now she's dressing a little different. And you're hitting puberty about that time. You're like, hey man, holla at your boy, right? <laughs> and now you do what they tell you, right? That's the truth. It goes into their mind. It's programming. Okay? The good girl's going back. Now, look, it's spiritual. We're in a generation with only fans and all this other stuff. And women, as the economy get worse, that's where they're all going to corral to. Right? That's where they're going to corral to. They're going to be online and things like that. And the well is dry, right? A lot of people say, oh, the well is dry. Well, females will look, right? They'll look. You see in their face, they, you know what I'm saying? They want to say what's up, but it's like other shit going on in their life. You're automatically, you know, tied into the problems the minute you talk. And I'm not saying that to be a dick. Right? I'll just catch you on your Instagram. What's your Instagram page? That's my opener. I'm gonna check you out first on there. And then, next time I see you, maybe we'll have a little bit more of a conversation or we want, right? Because everybody's sharing their girl with the world, right? So, what is that going to do as the economy breaks down to relationships and these girls looking to earn a wage. You guys, this is intricate. And listen, with all the girls heaping up into there in quick numbers, they're going to be fighting for followers. They're going to be going broke. They're going to be losing their mind. That's going to fall back out into the street. And you know, niggas always dying over a female. Right? I'm just telling you ahead of time before you get caught up in the sauce, man, right? That's what I said, man. Semen retention, okay, but nigga, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Because if you don't do it, all it is is the right number of circumstances that someone approaches you and you just, it's one of those offers you can't say no to. I don't have that problem, because I'm like, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I don't care if it's TMI or not. You know what I'm saying? Girl's like, what's up? I'm like, yo, what's up? And it's just like, hey, how's it going? I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm good, man. I'm good. I paid my internet bill this month. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We, we, we connect where we connect. You know, I'll see you here. <laughs> Come on, man. Everybody be fronting like they goody two shoes. The internet is for two things. Either you're looking for a job or you're doing something else. And trust me, them niggas do not spend that entire time playing Dungeons and Dragons and War of Warcraft. They have some intermissions in between there. Let me tell you, it's a booming business. 
right? As more and more people's wages get cut, they're gonna cut their attention from looking at um, people on OnlyFans and I'm sure they got some other sites. I I, I don't deal with it because, you know, I ain't, gas price, I, I ain't gonna pay no money, right? They're gonna cut to going back to like porn tube or something like that, right? The girls are either gonna go to the street or naturally in a three-dimensional mindset, they're gonna start getting propositioned by these big block corporation companies that produce porn. And they'll be getting them by the boatloads for cheap, right? You find that nice girl and it's like she has to find a way to live, you know what I mean? It's intricate like that. That's what the devil does. He causes the chaos, right? So, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, you go through this entire educational system that you're forced to go through just to get a job that you didn't need the education for, right? Because at the job, you have to use real information that aligns with the truth. At school, you could just pretend to make believe, right? Just input the correct answers that they input it into your brain and they'll let you go to the next grade, right? Now they wanna cut creative funding and things like that out of school and what have you. And all of our innovations and things like that came from creativity. As you see, movies and films in Hollywood with the budgeting and everything and the money being tight, it's a lot more difficult. Real talk. Real talk, it's difficult now. So, <clears throat> the movies suck, man. Let's just be honest, the movies kinda suck, right? For the most part, right? And then in these movies, they always, and the TV shows in this generation, how they grow up, right? And all of that, just because you didn't watch the TV show, is connected to you, man. It is all connected to you, so. <clears throat> These youth, these young men and stuff like that, and they're watching TV shows and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? You ever notice that TV shows all of a sudden started having uh, all the minorities be alternative? It was always the minorities. That's what they do. That's what happened. Mom and dad's gotta work like two different jobs. They don't have much time to raise little Johnny so he grows up watching the television. Right? Education, education that's true, but pertaining to this world and not healthy, right? I want you guys to take notes during this thing. I gave you a meditation exercise, how I do it. You won't find it in any of those uh, new age things or anything like that. Yo, this is some straight anime shit that the Holy Spirit got me on, bro. I ain't lying. Do that exercise every day, all the time. Do it. Start with focusing just two senses. See and smell at the same time. In your mind, simultaneously describe what you see and smell, right? As you exercise your mind, that's gonna open up your processing power. Your brain is the computer, all right? Now, during Nazi Germany, all right, we had uh, Adolf Hitler, okay, which is demonized. Adolf Hitler is highly demonized. The question is, if people are getting replaced, was that really the real Adolf Hitler? I'm gonna tell you, I predict that it isn't. Adolf Hitler was going after all these secret societies and things like that, and I tell you this in case anything happens to me, because you know what, I know too much. I know so much, the devil is scared to come around here. Right? So, what happens is, is they took Adolf and they replaced him. I guarantee you it happened. Adolf Hitler was going after secret societies and corporations. That's what happened. Now, when he ascended into political power, he had a foot into masonry and his ascension was a contract. So they had every right to replace him. If you sign a contract, you have given over your free will deal. 
That's why I put the checkmate over the the the, the kingdom of wicked, wickedness uh, before God, because court's going right right now. Right now, it's going. And I said, well, that's why I ask people, hey, uh, if somebody's coming after me, I'm going to ask you, did Christ die in vain? <laughs> that don't send a chill up your spine. I don't know what will. <laughs> right? They're going to find they have something else to do. I don't care if it's the devil himself. He's going to find that there's other priorities. He's going to have to get back. Right? Something came up. Right? But you can force him to answer that question by praying up to the Most High. You can ask that question that it has to be forced to be answered because you have been persecuted. So, back taxes. You understand? APR, interest. Right? Now, if he says in court, Christ did not die in vain, but he says it here on earth or denies God here on earth, then he denies his free will by his own voice, witness before the Holy Spirit. He can't be that lawless anymore. Either he tells the truth about God and he has free will or he doesn't have free will because he's denied it out of his own mouth. <laughs> That's what you call a checkmate. That's why when you think like that, your targeting stops. You wanna know why? Because people are like, I don't know what it is, but I don't fuck with that guy, right? No, no you don't, right? If it takes one to know one, if I'm a target, you sure in the fuck ain't free if you're running around in the same area as I am. In this pyramid that's on the back of a dollar, that's over the world, because we're all in Egypt, and the world systems and waves, and the four corners, which are the foundation of the earth, which is on the building blocks. The grand architect of masonry is talking about building the world, not the foundation of the earth, of which God said the earth is flat. So on top of that, that is that system that we are playing on. The builder, the builder of the system, the architect in the matrix. You go this direction in Eastern mysticism, if any of you guys are watching this, you came up through uh, Gnosticism with the Demiurge and all that. That's where all that shit come from, okay? You're in a video game, though. I'm just letting you know, <laughs> all right? So, you kind of got to be, elevate your mind to a programmer level. You got to fix things. You have to reprogram people's mind. You guys, people are more illiterate than you think. In fact, the reason why I grew so much is because I took that Bible literally like a baby, okay? I read it over again, and at every interruption point that I didn't understand something, I asked. See, we make fun of Floyd Mayweather. I know I do because he can't fucking read, but he'll knock your lights out. Right? He got all that money and he don't know how much he got. Right? Not in the in the description that's under the, the, the ones, you know, the ones and zeros. That's going all digital. Be in the world, but not of the world. Do not be a part of the system. Okay? Everything is a system. Everything has structures. Even biologically, you have a system. Central nervous system. Right? In the world, we got an ecosystem. Right? Computers. Video game. You're in a video game. Right? Huh? What do you guys think now? You think Toph still, you think he's smarter than me? Not when I'm in the spirit. He ain't talking about what I'm talking about. He's talking about foundations of the world. Even the gods 
are hazy when it comes to the system. Right? Think about it. If I know myself very well, and I was a fighter, this is how you gotta kinda think. These are exercises of meditation. This is how I meditate, because you guys, I don't know how to fight. But I'm just so quick <laughs> and very strong. You know what I'm saying? And just a very determined and crazy. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> you have to, <laughs> it's processing, quicken. The Holy Spirit will quicken, right? So, <clears throat> these are the things that you will notice. And if you're hearing these things and you're thinking of anime and all that, if your brother out there like that, I watch anime too. Uh, my favorite one is Hunter x Hunter. But uh, if you're thinking in terms of that, these are not exactly, I don't know. I guess it could be co-described as Ascension, but Ascension leads to that new age stuff. These are just facts, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> these are just facts, right? If you want to experience what the others in the world are talking about, you're going to follow God because he's telling you the truth, right? You seen any of these other New Agers turn into fucking Goku? No, but they all been talking about it since the 1800s. Helena Blavatsky, all them motherfuckers, right? What happened to Aleister Crawley? He's dead with the rest of them. Good job, right? Normal people are sinning like that, right? But we want to follow man's plan. And every mode of infrastructure from business to entertainment, these are prongs of our system. And how you see the prongs and the structure of our system there is you go and look at the industries, all right? Go to job hunting, or you go to Craigslist and you tap, you tap on uh, employment or something like that, it's gonna bring up a list, agriculture, business, entertainment. It's gonna ask you, what field do you wanna work in? Now the serpent was the most subtle beast of the field. Most intelligent. He knew that shit, he had knowledge, man, right? But I want to say, like, the serpent in the garden, man, like, I mean, the serpent in the garden, man, to be honest, the place where he erred was because when Eve told him that God said that they can eat from that tree, what God is, what God knew, because he could discern the thoughts was, you should have known that when she said that, that she was telling the truth because she didn't have knowledge of how to lie. That's where he fucked up. Right? But well, he wasn't given a curse like man was. That's misrepresented in how people interpret the Bible. You see, his punishment was to him specifically. It didn't go to his offspring. And to make this very clear, you guys, serpents, all right, what we call dragons, you guys call reptilians, which you guys, it's not the same. But anyhow, all right? You guys, dragons, they're biped. They have arms, they have legs. They do not go up on the ground, okay? The curse didn't follow them. Now all of them are fucking evil. Just like not every mason is evil. That doesn't make any sense. If it was that clear and cut, we would have been straight to business in the 90s. We're talking about infiltration of a system. Almost like an autoimmune situation, right? Not in each of us, but overall, eventually it will affect us all if we don't become a pillar. That's what's happening. For COVID, they gave us a vaccine that had technology. 
How specific? Wonder where the virus came from. If my etheric cord can reach back home. Mandela effects, right? How do they abbreviate it? Me, right? M E, I am, right? That's God. It's like, yo, what's up? Yeah, I know they made technology and stuff in there, right? But I'm just saying, like, it wasn't because of them. They can only do what I allow them to do. That's what the Lord is thinking. What's wrong with you, my nigga? Right? I'm looking at my shirt. I'm like, what is it? Right? Get me out of here. Right? These are the things that we have to think upon. All right? Most of you guys out there talking about dragons. Dude, let me tell you something. That chick that you like at the grocery store in the gym, 98% that's, that, that's a dragon. The fine ones, man. The fine ones before deers, they be like star seeds and all kind of shit, right? Seriously. The Nephilim are here. You guys are looking for giants. The Bible said there was giants and mighty men of renown. They're not the same thing. Mighty men of renown weren't necessarily giants. Mighty men of renown or Nephilim converts into heroes. Tell me you don't like Marvel Comics. Devil's kind of smart. I don't know. A lot of you guys like my favorite guy is the big green one. Not a Nephilim. That's just crazy. He's just angry. That's all. We all get angry sometimes. Right? I bet that hit your forehead. Admit that you might be blind. Right? They call this scotoma in Greek. Scotoma in Greek means blindness. But it could also come in the form of mentality, meaning mental blindness. Well, shit. If your mind can't perceive anything, then your computer is turned off. Somebody else is running the system. All right? Going back to Nazi Germany, after Hitler was replaced, he started throwing at the peace sign, what people now in conspiracy theory call the V, which represents the Vril, which are not the same as Dracos. All right? They're little creatures. I guess they connect to like one of your eyes. And it's common amongst people in those other societies, they tend to get a black eye when they get one, right? I never got a black eye. Right? They're not all bad. And trust me, you have one. They're in there. You, sh you should just, you should talk to them and they're intelligent. They know more than you do. Right? Now this should sound crazy to you, right? But dude, it's not my fault. I'm just, I'm just fucking you. Right? Seriously. <laughs> talk to yourself. It might not be ELF. Dude, for all they know, what they know and their knowledge is not the same that you understand and you're not. Right? So what happens while the Lord is coming to save people, the devil has access to the other parts of creation, doesn't he? And surely he told the truth. How did God know that there would be enmity? Well, if I'm here and that fuckwad is over there doing that, right? And then he spoke against confusion. Now we're all confused. Right? What am I saying? Processing speed. Don't think about things that are just happening now, but how they will transpire in the future. You'll be able to see it. Okay? But the real, they get a bad rap. Why? Because it was used as propaganda. And your lack of understanding, you won't understand. Okay? Nephilim are half fallen angel and half human. If you think serpents are Nephilim, that just means you're illiterate and you didn't know it. That's okay. I was too. The Bible made me conscious of that. Serpents are not Nephilim. 
but under the kingdom of darkness, they are under their control. Why? Because you're not preaching the gospel because you don't fully understand it or know it. Think about it. You could tell who the lost sheep are because they went right back to the commandments and went right back to Moses. Isn't that funny? You're in Egypt and you went right back to Moses. But you guys never got to the New Testament. The Old Testament was to let you know, hey man, you need Christ. They never figured it out in the Old Testament. And those people in those days with a lot less temptation, but pretty damn bad, all right? They were a lot better and stronger than you, right? That's why I tell you guys, don't waste your time, okay? That's for the other Christians that are asleep. That is their victory. That is their gift from God, right? Let them have that. Do not soar their head with madness. Just look out for them, all right? That's what you're supposed to do. It's too much, man. This shit is too intense. It's too grievous for, you know, me to go see my mom who has the heart of a little kid. Like, she, oh my gosh, man. Like, when I used to live at home, dude, I'd be asleep and then I just hear boom, 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 boom. And she'd be like, eh, eh. that's what I hear. That's her voice. I don't want to say my name and shit. Right? She's like, she's like, when you gonna wake up? Come on, come on, it's out. It's bright outside. She'll come around the room, she'll just yank the blinds up. Not because there's anything wrong. She's just happy as fuck. Right? She's a senior citizen. She's still got all that energy. Right? She'll run me into the earth. She's like a little kid. I can't go into her and be like, yo, I'm hearing frequencies. I can tell which one is the devil one. They have another frequency that Leviathan is on. You can reach them if your mind is strong enough. Right? Right? So when I, when I told you guys a long time ago that I was spiritual, people posting up all this negative flack about me, right? You know what I'm saying? And, and you guys, that was back in like, you know, 2013. That's how much work I had to put in over and over again, getting disrespected, just to tell you guys, hey man, it's spiritual. Right? Like smart guy from Undercover Brother, right? You guys just don't understand. Hey, look at this. Look at how they look at how they reflect you guys. The media, they're always looking at you. you always, hey man, Hebrew Israelites, right? They have that scarf around their head, right? Why they look like Ninja Turtles? Huh? Huh? But of course, the devil likes to still sit, still shit, and attach it to his own. So as the Lord is our master, he considers himself a master of this matrix, the grand architect, right? And our master is a rat, right? Who ratted out the turtles? The rat, right? I don't know if that really happened in the story, but it's just kind of like, come on, man. A fucking rat for a leader, come on. Now Takashi 6 9 is the king of New York and nobody challenges it. Everybody had Trump problems and Trump didn't do the gas like this. Nobody's fighting against Biden. We make fun of him though. Maybe he's smarter than you think. Right? They're vampires also. Right? I can't get rid of my ex-girlfriend. I can't get rid of her. I can't beat her off with a stick. Right? She's out there. Dude. I hope I don't see her again, man. It's too much to deal with, man. I shit you not, man. It's a thick, nerdy white girl. There's too much trauma. Right. That's why I said if I was doing semen retention, that would not that would not be a good situation if I ran into her while I was in the middle of doing semen retention and it had been nigga one week with all this stress coming on my head, bro. Are you serious? She'd be like, hello, I'd be like, get the keys, come on, let's go. Right. But if I pay my internet bill, she come around, she's like, hi. And I'm just like, oh, hey, what's up? Do I know you from somewhere? Right? It's too much to deal with. That is the only sin in the Bible that is written. God said, hey man, when it comes to women, run. 
And that's what Joseph did. When that woman was forcing him, he had to run, man. What the fuck can you do? They all know it. That's that mother god of shit. That links it to all that shit. Right? Now everybody's mad at me. But the feminist movement is led by men. The T. Hope that makes sense to me, right? So going back to the dragons thing, I want to be very clear because I've seen on a brother channel, I've seen on New Breeze channel, right? He was talking about, they, I just seen the title and dragon was spelled incorrectly. It had two G's and I knew he was conveying a message, I guess, that he wasn't talking about serpents, which he wasn't. Now this is confusion that they're going to get into. Okay, this new age agenda and movement, right? <clears throat> The T is a representation, allegedly, in Eastern mysticism of completion. What many people don't know is that Nephilim were intersex. They had both members, okay? They had both of them. The reason why that wasn't necessarily good was because they were Nephilim, right? They were like her 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 hermaphroditic, right? It's the truth. That's what they're studying. And that's what they consider to be completion. Right? So. When they introduce this into society. Right? It's like starting a fire in the woods. You have to blow the fire. You have to cover it up a bit. And you have to nurture it to get the fire to start. That's what happened. Okay. So now, okay, and just like vampires and mighty men right now, they can, you know they can shape shift. Most of the time, to be honest, man, though Dracos have the technology, they they generally, man, they just stick to their same format. It ain't that deep to them, right? So, <clears throat> for the most part, right? Here's the thing. Four deers, your greys, and your gray aliens, your uh, your Dracos, your mantids, uh, they are uh, they also they also have both sexes. Right? And you, and people are like, oh, where is this going? Where it's going is Adam and Eve was complete. I'm not saying that they had both freaking members. That's not how Dracos are either. You see, the Dracos and the Greys, you know what I'm saying? Their members are with them. They're complete. They're whole. Right? What did God say? You will be as flowers of the field. Well, flowers are complete. They are both male and female. Okay? The perception of it is you could be complete and just one. Right? That's how we were created. And we were created on all one accord. But they are not her her, her, her I have a hard time saying this fucking word, man. Hermaphroditic. Okay? They are not they do they do not have both portions of their members out. You know what I'm saying? It's not like that. Right? So that's what I want you to freaking understand. So when it comes into this day and age with the T's, that's venerating, all right, the Nephilim. Everybody thinks it's going into serpent worship. They did that to fool your head, okay? Not everyone that has cat-like eyes is a serpent. You guys, demons have them too. Some of them motherfuckers have three or four pupils, but those are usually the insect ones, right? And they try to constrain their eyes when they have when they have multiple eyes, they try to constrain it, you know, into the visual part of the human body. Right? I told you guys I had a I had a bird of prey once. Okay? It was New Year's. I don't know what it is, man. Thick thick white girls, I I, I didn't even know. I I did not until I moved back to Missouri. I guess it's not as diverse as California. <clears throat> like, hey man, 
So anyway, she was showing how she was flexible at the bar. You know what I'm saying? Those drinks was hidden, all right? She had teeth in there, okay? I had to be very careful, all right? I couldn't freak out, I couldn't flip out, I couldn't do any of that, right? People were like, oh, I would have pulled out, stop. Nah, man, that wouldn't have been a good idea. You gotta keep a cool head, keep your shit together, right? Handle your business, act normal, right? And <laughs> I don't blast anyone out, so I ain't gonna say her name, you know what I mean? But yeah, man, when she, <clears throat> When she was leaving, man, she cut me a look, and that was the first time I felt like a dude weapon, right? I felt like I was being radiated and shit, right? Yeah. That shit is that shit is real. That's what I'm saying. The image you gotta you gotta know people at that core. You gotta know what's behind the image. Know them by their fruits, their principles. I'm looking at your principles, their attributes of character. Martin Luther King. This should be basic for us. One on one. Right? Deal with that first before you deal with the image. Right? Then if you like the image after that, then you can say, and you guys, for me, I cannot do semen retention to do that. I'm just, I'm just being honest with you, man. I'm just being honest with you. It's a lot of it being, going through Target and stuff like that. Hey man, it was a very stressful time. I'm isolated all the time. It's been that way. All right? So, I gotta pay my internet bill, you know what I'm saying? So I can focus on all the things that I can see that might be contributing for me. I'm not saying it's a good thing. I'm not advocating for you to do what I do, but whatever it takes for you to be able to focus and utilize the mind that the Lord has blessed you with. I wouldn't sweat the small stuff because Christ already died for all your sins in the past and in the future. Now, you ever played that game, like trying not to step on the cracks and you always fuck up, right? because you were sweating the small stuff. You were focused too much on, right? Stop cleaning your gun. The missiles are coming down. They're approaching us with, you know what I'm saying? Weapons and shit, right? That's what you're doing. Worrying about semen retention, which equates to just waiting. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm like, come on, man. They're catching up what they're doing. It's like, they're doing semen retention right now. I'm like, what? So they're just like fucking waiting, right? What are they just fucking drinking a Pepsi? Come on, right? <laughs> Come on. Come on, let's go. <laughs> let's go, get busy, right? That's what I'm saying. So there's a lot of stuff out here, you guys, that you don't know about, you know? Vampires are real. People aren't just crazy. What are those secrets about? Because when they sign that contract and they get replaced, if you're from the 3D realm, you get replaced with something else. Now, either Draco may be using your image or a Starseed or a Grey, because how do those celebrities go to all those places all the time and not get ran into the fucking ground? It's not possible. Sometimes other creatures have to do it. They do it for presidents and things like that. So when they sign the contract, when they sign that contract or whatever, then they, they get caught in the Soul Catcher computer. There's a book called Soul Catcher. I didn't read it, but basically that's what the book cover says the book is about. It's a computer. They upload your consciousness into 4D and they could divert it into any image. So if you come around several people that have the exact same personality, that's the exact same consciousness dispersed between those different people. It could be a clone. A uh, Draco can use it, a uh, Grey can use it, right? Don't get it twisted, they're already telepathic and shit, right? Come on. Right? So here's the thing, there, some of you guys might be like, well, I don't know, sometimes I get these droplets of information from someone loud right how does that work well there's a spirit in me and there's a spirit in you and we have the same spirit that's kind of like a communication device isn't it my specialty is communications right so if we could do that what secrets are they telling you yo people could read your mind right magicians do it all the time 
If you don't have a firewall, your mind is getting rid, right? That's what it meant by being naked. Adam and Eve, they fell so far into a dense way of thinking. What the Bible is showing you is they fell into their computer, their brain's way of thinking. They were worried about clothes. Everybody was fucking naked. They were fucking stupid, right? I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be a dick, dude. I know how I am, I'm always riled up. You guys are like, what's up with this guy? You know what I'm saying? What does he just live off of energy drinks? No, most of the time I eat once a day. I have a bit of tea, I drink a shit ton of water, right? I go to the gym and I lift like a maniac for an hour and I fucking come home, right? Right now I'm in between jobs, but in other circumstances I'd be going to work, right? But when you see the way the Holy Spirit has built me, you know it doesn't have anything to do with weights. So I'm training my mind. Right? The other day these motherfuckers tried to duck the shit out of me. Right? Let me tell y'all niggas something. And I tell you this, exploiting shit because I fucking love you. Leave those fucking campsites alone, man. Let me tell you, they can see you from where they're at. They'll fucking respond. People will think that I'm fucking crazy. I don't care. Because when you're crazy, you're freer than when you're sane. I can say what the fuck I want to. I have more free speech than them. Yeah. Sanity's for the weak. Get the fuck out of my way. Right? They can see you. You think they really transport all of this digital data and information through old school pipelines that go under the fucking ocean? It's a UFO. They have cloaking devices, right? That's why they're 4D. If you're in 4D, you could use the third dimension as a cloak, meaning there's a ship there that you don't even know is there. X-ray, they can see you all in your house and shit. They can see everything you're doing. They can hear everything I'm saying. Your house is not bugged. There's a ship above your house. Now for me, I try to tell them about the word of God because, well shit, even though we have enmity, fuck man. You know what I'm saying? They haven't heard the truth. They don't understand. They've been growing up and raised by traditions of wrong information. They're red talk. What they don't ask in their secrets is how did he build the infrastructure if people didn't have a common mind? And how does it all seem to favor him? Nothing wrong with that. See, you see, they have supreme intelligence, but they're too slow to catch it. Right? I have to show them that. Nothing wrong with that. That's how you show people their mind control. Now, a lot of times they start to get angry. That's because they're in that hive mind. It's not because they're necessarily angry. They might come off angry at first. And you stop them. Say, wait. All right? They're intelligent. Most of the time they fucking will. All right? Say, wait a minute. Are you angry right now? And they'll answer you. If you hear frequencies, it'll come by force. Like, yes. You know what I'm saying? It's like, fuck. Listen. Why are you angry right now? And they'll think about it and they'll be like, I don't know. And you say, that right there, that's your mind control. Right? Then they look at you a little different. You might have to do that several fucking times. That's what it takes to pull people out of that shit. You gotta do the same thing with people. The problem is, I like to deal with four deers because people are just too fucking slow, I'm sorry. Right? They're just too slow. I'd rather direct people. And I hate, I never want to be a leader, but I'd rather just say, look, you see that door? Go do that motherfucker, go do that. You know what I'm saying? Because people are gonna say, why? How did you do that? What's that magic? Man, I don't got the patience for that shit now. Right? It's the truth. Study to show thyself approved. Meditate on this. Listen to this podcast. Ask the Heavenly Father to reveal it if it, is, if it is true, if it is real. Right? That's what I'm telling you guys. But let me see how long I talked on this joint. I wasn't planning on talking this long either. See? I done talked to y'all, man, for damn near an hour and a half, man. But listen. This is very key to know. I'm giving you a key. It's a heavenly key, man. And no text 
on earth in no text on earth was there ever any limitation placed on man's abilities why you think they get you to look up to the fucking nephilim why are they trying to change men so they could come after you man you're a badass motherfucker you just don't know it you gotta hurry the fuck up right that's what I'm telling you. The knowledge, the tree of good and evil wasn't a bad tree. It's just that knowledge can be used for evil and it could be used for good also. That's why we're in this warfare of good versus evil. Right? The problem is, is if you go in the other path with knowledge, the problem is if you don't know enough things, I know that knowledge is temporal, you know what I'm saying? Meaning this set of knowledge will work in this situation, but if this happens, that set of knowledge won't work. Right? If you have knowledge and cannot discern between good and evil, that is why God told Adam and Eve not to fuck with that tree. It wasn't that it was bad. It's just that they didn't have any discernment. Therefore, we all came under darkness, even all the other four deers and whatnot. Believe it or not, you have a responsibility to them. They kind of have a right to be mad. Look how we did the earth. She kind of has a right to be angry. Trust me, y'all niggas is very apologetic. Only the Bible will tell you that. You don't understand the level of humility it took for Christ to take on all our fucking faults, be wrongfully accused in such a thing, knowing that he knew far more than anybody fucking down, right? Red couldn't deal with Christ. Christ just had to fucking do that so he could save us, right? That's what you call creating a splash. When you go to a website, it's called a splash page, right? He defeated the devil with one move and people wonder about his existence. But why would you wonder that if he didn't exist all the way in 20 fucking 22? Somehow he's exceedingly relevant and always at the center of controversy. He ain't even here. <sighs> what? He up there like, Oh, y'all still tripping on my old shit. Wait till you see what I got now, right? And everybody wants to doubt them because they lack patience. Not because there's anything to doubt because why would you doubt something that isn't real? That's the splinters I'm talking about in people's mind, right? Whatever they come with, I'll take what they give me. Tell me how I'm wrong, my most deplorable sins, and air it out. And I'll tell the truth about Christ, and you'll lose the crowd. That's why the devil don't like to fuck with me. And I can see the splinters in his mind, and I'll put some fucking quarters in his brain. Right? Have that shit working fucked up, because what I see in there, his scotoma, his blindness, he doesn't see. Yeah, he surely is the king of darkness. The Bible is very specific. What is darkness without light? <laughs> Nothing. Peace and blessings be with you all. I'm out.